What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Recording. I did not see this coming today. I guess perhaps there may be some irritation. There may be some battle for, uh, you know, online talk show uh, supremacy between uh, Patrick Bet David and Tim Cast. I don't know. Oddly, they, they're both at completely different time frames. And, um, you know, while I've been critical of both of these individuals throughout my throughout my life, I, I do think that the conversations that they in general have uh, are good. But apparently, uh, Tim and PBD have some beef. And uh, Patrick Peck David aired out some pretty spicy details, some pretty, um, I would say, like, embarrassing details for Tim, but look, let's start at the beginning. Patrick Beck David announced that he's hosting a debate between Chris Cuomo, who is a liar um, piece of garbage from CNN who went on TV every night and told, you know, and said people were taking horse paste. He also advised his brother who uh, was responsible for, many believe, thousands and thousands of people not surviving as he crammed them into uh, various like, retirement homes and things of that nature um, during the height of the coup. He ran cover for him. They, they, they wouldn't cover it on CNN uh, because his brother Andrew was uh, being propped up as a mouthpiece against Trump for them. Chris Cuomo is and will always be a piece of garbage. Okay, so we know where he stands, where I stand, Chris Cuomo. Patrick Bet David, people have a lot of things to say about how he made his money. Um, you know, essentially an MLM. Uh, you know, you can say what you want about that. Um, but, you know, nowadays, uh, he does host a very popular show that talks, you know, that does have these type of conversations. What do I think is going to come from this conversation? Well, Dave Smith will come prepared. He'll have the receipts and Chris Cuomo will not take responsibility for any of it. And quite frankly, I would rather watch that stupid video of the guy with the gas station pump on repeat for 10 hours and ever listen to Chris Cuomo debate anybody on anything because he's a liar and a, a hack. Just look at what all of his, you know, friends and buddies have done uh, with their own platforms since they've been out on their own. You know, complete failure, complete disaster, complete. I mean, Don Lemon can't even break, uh, can't even break a couple thousand views. You know what I'm saying? It's it's they're all hacks. Anyway, so he's gonna debate this. Obviously, most people say. People are pointing out, oh, take notes, Tim Cast, win your fans back by having hosting important debates. I mean, Tim has debates. All that is is a veiled, like, you got to bring uh, Nick on. Otherwise, you know, everything, your entire body of work is useless. Um, you know, I, again, I'll take it, but too bad conversations like this didn't happen four years ago. The reckoning is coming for Cuomo. Hiring him was a huge mistake. Yeah, I mean... I don't, I don't know why PBD hired him. He has some level of name recognition, but you know, he's largely hated in, you know, in my community and our community, I would never tune into anything on value that includes Chris Cuomo period. Um, I don't think he's going to debate in good faith. And I think when he does get cornered, he's simply going to say stupid crap. Like, well, CNN told me to CNN told me. CNN made me do this. I, he'll take no personal responsibility. Um, but yes, some people are excited for it. And I think conversations to be had are good. Um, cool. Uh, most people pointing out, you know, Chris, people like Dave Smith. Okay, they do. Uh, people hate Chris Cuomo. Um, so I guess there's that. Hopefully there'll be some clips. But what, what happened was, Tim said, well, here's the question I would ask. What do, what do you think your son learned from watching you emerge from your basement after faking being in coof lockdown? Or do you think he will take more away from you, a liar and a con man, or your brother, uh, a murderer who, en who ended nursing home patients, then tried to blame Trump? I think a very fair question to ask, right? Very fair question to ask. And then things take this like very bizarre left turn. Like I, I did not expect this at all. Um, for some reason, 
Tim then says that take notes, Tim Cast, win your fans back by having hosting the debates. Tim says, actually, I was asked to do the debate and turned it down. I'm not sure which side he would have been on, like on the Dave Smith side, maybe. I'm not I'm not totally sure. Like I, I can't really say what side he would have been on, but or maybe they wanted to host it, but I, I don't know. It was a weird thing to say. Uh, but then Patrick Bat David comes like off the top rope saying, turned it down. Our team and your team spoke. Your booker said you wanted us to fly you down in a private jet, which was strange, especially after I attended your paid event in Miami for free. Meaning like Tim Cass was charging people to be there. And, you know, I assume part of the value that they were going to get was that Patrick Bet David was there. Um, and he's saying, hey, I didn't charge you anything. Uh, yikes. Um, and then he says, let us know if you want to see the email exchange. I'll wait. Um, Zoiks. Definitely not a good look. Obviously, I, I don't know about the private jet thing. That I mean, I I would guess that Patrick Bet David would not say that. Uh, I don't think PBD would say that if it wasn't true. Do I think that Tim Pool would request a private jet? I don't know. I mean, look, when I travel because I'm a big guy, I do request at minimum business class. Um, and that is an extra expense, but, uh, I don't fit very well in regular class. And also I get travel anxiety. So like maybe he's, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe there is some sort of, you know, something crossed in, you know, some wires got crossed or something like that, because it seems very, very, very odd that Tim would request a private jet. Um, and again, for what? I, I don't, this whole thing is so weird to me. Like I was asked to do the debate and turned it down. What debate? I'm not sure. And obviously all the, you know, people from Jake Shields who hate him and stuff like that are obviously taking, uh, having a little bit of fun at Tim's expense. I don't know. It's also odd that, that Patrick Bet David aired this out like this. I think it's, I don't know super not professional but that said i guess i understand why patrick by david might feel that way pbd might be saying like yo um i made you money i came to your event for free so you could and you would charge t you know you charged people admission because i was there and you didn't pay me for it um so that's definitely not a good look and as far as i can tell tim has not replied i don't know what there is to reply about this Maybe he's yelling at his his booker. This is the second time um, Tim's quote unquote booker has been blamed for something. I think the booker was essentially uh, uh, blamed over the debate with Jake Shields or whatever. I don't know if anybody knows who Jake like like I don't Jake Shields is. I know he was I guess an MMA guy, which I don't want to you know I'm not going to try to take that away from him or whatever. Um, but like. I don't know what he would debate. I know that he seems to really not like Jewish people. Um, and he spends a lot of time tweeting about that, but I don't think I would tune in to watch him debate anything. Uh, obviously I'm generally on Tim's side because, you know, he's really just been kind of an independent guy, but this is weird. Uh, this is like a weird look. F maybe, what do you think? Maybe it's uh, that they're, you know, they're battling. I know that Tim was very vocal about not supporting Patrick Beck David and hiring Chris Cuomo. I wouldn't either. I don't think Chris Cuomo, you know, let him like flap in the wind with the rest of his CNN losers. Um, I don't think anyone cares what he has to say. What, what is Chris Cuomo going to debate? You know, is Dave Smith going to ask him, to perjure himself or to admit to crimes. Hey, Chris, you know, what was it like covering up for your brother who cost the lives of thousands of people? Hey, Chris, what was it like faking that you had the coof? Hey, Chris, what was it like going out for a run and getting caught 
um, and put on blast by a, a, a citizen that you probably said was taking horse paste or that you said they did, they didn't deserve you know basic freedoms because they didn't get the jab you know are, where are you on uh you know how many jabs how many boosters are you on chris are you still getting boosted is he going to answer any of those questions i'm in general definitely not against having conversations i'm definitely not against uh you know people having a conversation i think it's good do I think Chris Cuomo will have anything interesting to say? Do I think Chris Cuomo will have anything to admit, any wrongdoings, this, that, and the other thing? No, I don't. Um, that said, maybe he will. Maybe he will. And uh, I guess there's some value in that. I, he will, He will. I mean, I guess let me put it this way. Chris Cuomo will never be redeemed in my eyes. Never. There is nothing Chris Cuomo can do short of going to prison and then testifying his against his brother who would then go to prison in that case. And on only in that case, would I, you know, consider Fredo's debt to society paid. And that's, and that's the only scenario. Patrick Pat David hiring him is weird. Um, I've always thought it was weird, but this is, this is spicy. What do you think? You think there's more to this? I have a feeling this just may be about competition, but uh, I guess I'm not sure. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and we'll talk to you again real soon.